Earlier today, James, we visited a new apartment block in North King Street in Dublin 7 called Sean Foster Place. And in this episode, you're going to say a little bit about Sean Foster and why he has been remembered in his native city. That's right. This uh, six story apartment block that we saw earlier on at North King Street, it opened in 2022 and it now has uh, this commemorative plaque um, that we can see here in the photograph that I took earlier on attached to the building that went up in uh, October 2023. Uh, very concise text just telling you that uh, this apartment block Sean Foster Place is named after Sean Foster 1914 to 1916 first child to be killed during the Easter Rising. Um, now he was actually born in 1913 um, not 1914. He was only two years of age though when he was killed. Um, he was just two months short of his tour at Berti when he was shot dead in his pram and um, just a short walk from where the apartment block bearing his name uh, now stands. What do we know about Sean and the manner of his death? Uh, well, in terms of what we know about him, um, there's the one photograph that survived. It's uh, a very well-known photograph of all the young victims from 1916. It's probably the one that stays in the, the memory the most, where he's posing in a, a studio photograph of very sort of angelic features. Um, he was the son of a labourer uh, called John Foster. Um, he was born at home, not far from the apartment block. He was born uh, on the Olaf road over the Stony Batter uh, Arbor Hill, born in June of uh, 1913 and then less than three years later while living at a different address, again very close to where the apartment block is uh, at Manor Place, uh, he was killed uh, by a single bullet through the head on Church Street um, during the afternoon of Easter Monday. So this was the 24th of April 1916, the Easter Rising had just broke out and uh, Sean is uh, believed to be the first of approximately 40 children uh, killed during the Rising and uh, the second youngest victim overall and he is called Sean Foster, that's what the family called him um, but when you look at the birth cert, the death cert, the burial record, the gravestone etc it's uh, John Francis Foster or John F Foster. Uh, his father died the year before as well. Uh, yeah, just to compound matters even more. His uh, father, John Foster, was killed in May 1915 uh, over in France while uh, serving in the British Army during the First World War. So his wife, uh, Catherine or Katie Foster, was widowed and then lost one of her two children in very quick succession. So she was in her 20s and became a widow very young and then just the following year lost her, her eldest son uh, being shot in the head uh, in, in the pram. And she was pushing the pram when Sean was shot dead in the Rising. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's such a, a horrible event just to to try and put yourself uh, in, in her position. She was pushing the pram along with her two boys. She had Sean and then the younger brother, Terence, in the pram. And the, she was making the short journey from her home uh, down to Father Matthew Hall on Church Street. And then along the way, she came across her brother, uh, who was uh, a member of the Irish Volunteers, Joseph uh, O'Neill was his name, and he was behind a, a makeshift barricade uh, at the junction of North King Street and Church Street, and uh, apparently she was you know, slagging him off for playing soldiers, was the phrase apparently used, telling him to stop fooling around and go home, uh, because the rising had just started and people didn't, weren't really sure what was happening or you know if this was the real deal. Uh, the mood changed very quickly then because a group of British Army Lancers came along on horseback and then a gunfight broke out. They were um, escorting lorries full of ammunition down to the, the magazine fort. So a gunfight broke out. The, the brother, Joseph, shouted at his sister to get home with her children. And then while she was seeking shelter around the corner, their father, uh, Matthew Hall, uh, Katie Foster, was tragically caught up in the crossfire. And she was heard shouting out, they've killed my baby, as she uh, entered Father Matthew Hall, uh, covered in her baby's blood. There are conflicting uh, accounts about which side the, the bullet came from. Uh, although Katie Foster always insisted that the shot was fired from the revolver of one of uh, her brother's 
Irish Volunteer Comrades uh, stationed in the foyer of Father Matthew Hall. Um, he had a different uh, opinion on matters, but um, to make things even worse for Katie, she found herself being penalised and suffering financially after both tragedies. It's hard to imagine now, but in 1915, um, she had her soldiers' wives' allowance reduced because she became a, a widow. And then when she told the authorities the following year that her baby son had now been killed during the Easter Rising, uh, her allowance was further cut because she now had one less mouth to feed. So this was something that really rubbed salt in the wounds and it was raised in the House of Commons and it was commented on in newspapers that this was a very cruel thing for a woman going through a double tragedy to have to, to suffer as well. Absolutely, that is just unbelievably uh, cruel. Uh, she must have been deeply distressed by it all. Yeah, I mean, of course, she was. Um, this was a double tragedy and I think for the rest of her life she blamed the British Army for killing her husband and she blamed the Irish Volunteers for killing her first child. I mean, like, to lose a son at that less than three years of age, um, you know, just, he was six months older than the youngest victim of the Easter Rising, uh, Christina Caffrey. You have a poem with you that Katie Foster wrote about her son's death. Uh, yeah, I thought this would be uh, you know, a fitting way to end um, the episode because one year after uh, Sean's death, Katie Foster placed a, a memorial notice in the uh, Evening Herald newspaper. So I'll just read that out here. Foster, first anniversary, in fond and loving memory of John Francis or Sean, uh, Foster, the darling eldest child of Katie and the late John Foster of 18 Manor Place, who was accidentally shot in the rising Easter Monday, April 24th, 1916, aged three years, although he was actually uh, two years and 10 months old. Um, and then comes the short piece of verse, uh, which reads, his little face and gentle form are pleasant to recall. He had a little smile for each and was dearly loved by all. We little thought his time so short in this world to remain, nor thought that when from home he went, he'd never return again. <laughs>